I'm Barbecue Bill. I like to travel the country, meet interesting people, and serve up good times. I like to learn about people and what they do. I'm Barbecue Bill. And these are my adventures. This is John, the one-armed bandit. And as you know, he got his name because he's got one arm. But the bandit came from the fact that he steals audiences' hearts. <laughs> now, what is your favorite animal to work with? Um, better not say on TV. Maybe, uh, maybe I could put it... Well, horses. Horses are. Horses is your favorite animal to work with. Horses, horses are. Horses are your favorite. Well, I tell you, a horse won't take half your money when they leave you. Now, I want to show you my horse. He's right over in the trailer. I can't wait to see the horse. Let's go on over and see the horse. And I want to hear more about your Come favorite on. animal. Hey, I'm Barbecue Bill. If you got the heat, I got the meat. And we'll be right back. This is Tucker. Tucker talks, right? Well, he doesn't talk, he listens. I've always wanted to find a woman like that. I was hurt to hear that the French eat horses. Did you hear about that? I knew that, um, but realistically, there's some horses that ain't good for nothing but eating. What would be the best way to eat them? Well, probably better ask the French. I'd have to put a lot of barbecue sauce on if I was eating one. <laughs> See, I tell you, barbecue sauce makes everything better. I tell you, everything better. Heck, you can eat a dead gum old wooden shing with barbecue sauce on it. Oh, that's good. Did you that expect him to say anything different? Mm. No, it really is good, because I would tell you, something, I'm a barbecue expert. And this is good barbecue sauce. If I ever wanted to get into rodeo, what sport would I be best in? Barbecue. Barbecue? That's <laughs> just in the barbecue. all gotta eat. That's a good point. Tell me a little bit what's gonna we're gonna see tonight. Cowboy ingenuity at its finest. I'm gonna attempt to put the horses up on top of the trailer. John Payne, you have done the impossible. Uh, then at the end of my show, my horse spins on top of the trailer while the truck and trailer leaves the arena. Now I gotta ask you, that is not natural for a horse to do that, correct? They got to jump on the back of that pig and then turn 90 degrees up on top. That's something the horse in the wild wouldn't do. No. They like to run, and uh, this is stopping and turning and getting up on something that they could fall off of, and they know it. How do you train them? Is it like carrots, sugar cubes, good positive thinking? Lots of good barbecue on top of the trailer. <laughs> That's the warning. The warning is the barbecue and the Frenchman. Yeah, that's right. I read in your bio that you ran into 7,200 volts of electricity. How'd that all happen? I climbed up a pole 25 foot in the air and grabbed a hold of the wire and had 7,200 volts in it. And it burnt this arm so bad they had to cut it off. Uh -huh. Blew my guts out the side and burnt this leg from here to here. You can see the bone wow, from here to here. See. Blew your guts out. Wow. Just Whoa. came right there and go, whoo. My barbecue just peels right off the bone, and your skin peeled right off the bone, too. This here was cooked so bad, it was burnt. <laughs> it fell off the it, bone. It, it was well done. I can relate. The one arm bandit and the one arm barbecue. Barbecue man. one arm barbecue man. <laughs> barbecue bandit. That's right, barbecue bandit. You think I could join you if I was a barbecue bandit? If you cook good, you can. I want to thank you, John. Thank you for just a wonderful interview. Appreciate you. Come on. This is John the One-Armed Bandit, and I'm Barbecue Bill. Thank you. Thank you.